Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, thank you for tuning in today. I only have a little bitty bit of time to record. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to do some more stuff later on or tomorrow, but anyway, I figure I could uh, use this time to go ahead and show you guys a tutorial of basically a small convertible uh, coupe type deal. So we are in the uh, parking lot of the townhome complex, or not really parking lot, but driveway. We're in the driveway of this complex here, and I just figure I'm going to add this in to add a bit more vitality to this area, make it seem just a little bit more alive. You know? So, what we're going to need are birchwood stairs, black stained clay, and uh, birchwood planks. Now, note, you can use basically whatever you want for these, just as long as you have stairs for them. And, uh, yeah, so that's the basic gist of it. I guess I could grab some buttons, too. So let's go start. ahead and uh, place down these two blocks with one block between them. Then we're going to jump ahead two blocks and put another set in there. And what we're going to do is fill that in with upside down stairs. And then on the back we're going to go ahead and put in the planks and then another set of stairs. There we go. So now for the front we're basically just going to do the three like this without any angled ones. And now. Let's go ahead and replace the floor in here, and uh, put in the seat, which is basically just going to be a quartz stair. Now we'll put the uh, first part of the hubcaps on here, and we're going to make those mostly out of item frames. And uh, actually, let me just go ahead and redo this here. I meant for the back to have the uh, pattern that the front has. And vice versa. There's, so there you go. That's the base of the car right here. And for the uh, convertible top, we're just going to use quartz slabs. And we're going to put those over the wheels like so. So they kind of hide those. And we're going to put in glass panes as the windshield. So there's that. And now what you could do, actually, so that this is a drivable car, and you can roleplay driving down the... Uh, roads in your city and all that. We're gonna go ahead and put in a minecart and a powered rail as well as, let's see, a music disc which is either the black or the gray one, basically the same. At least in terms of look wise. In terms of look, I don't even know. I'm kind of out of it right now. I drink some caffeinated pop but mm, I get caffeine headaches so Anyway, we're going to go ahead and put this rail cart in, and that is basically the front seat, and we'll put in the music disc as the steering wheel, and there you go. So there's a, basically a driver's eye view of this thing. I'm going to go ahead and hop out of there, and we could actually put in another one so you could ride together with a friend. Sounds fun. Only issue is that they're going to perpetually be making that rolling noise. So if you don't want to deal with that, just put in one and then maybe put in a uh, stair behind it. Oh, over the powered rail. There we go. Anyway, enough uh, horsing around here. We're going to go ahead and put in the headlights, which I'm going to use glowstone for those. Then we're going to grab some uh, iron bars, and we're going to use that for the grill and for the uh, hubcaps here. And this is basically just supposed to be like a generic... Um, you know, basically... Uh, fairly moderate and not like low-end or not like high-end um, convertible coupe like I said at the beginning of this video we're just gonna do that for the hood ornament and on the back we're going to throw in some tail lights we're gonna use block of redstone for those and let's see I guess we could put on a sign as a license plate too let's see what's What's something clever for this? <laughs> Maybe runabout. How about that? So yeah, that's basically the gist of it. That's pretty much all there is to this car. It's a uh, little convertible coupe, like I said. I think it's pretty uh, cute. It's a nice little thing to uh, put in your shopping center parking lots or your driveways or what have you. And uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, actually, one more thing. 
A lot of cars from the 70s and 80s in that general era had what they called the luggage rack on the back, and it was basically just like a metal rack you could strap, well, luggage to. It's mostly decorative more than anything. My car has one, but I've never had any chance or reason to use it, but that's what that is. That just adds a little bit more uh, interest and a little bit more authenticity, if that's the look you're going for. So anyway, that's basically it for this tutorial. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and sleep real quick quick so you can uh, see this car in the day and I will be right back. So here is the car in the brightness of the day or at least the early morning in all of its glory. And that uh, yeah, pretty much wraps this up. Runabout small convertible type deal. So thanks for watching. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go for a cruise, feel the wind in my hair and all that good stuff and uh, hopefully I will see you in the next video.